and all you got to do is paste it in. I'm just going to say right click paste and that's all there is to it. And just do an open bracket slash YouTube to finish off the com code tag. And that's it. Let's see, Portal does the rest, add the topic, and we can try it out. Another dangerous game kids play is to tunnel in snowbanks near the road. A few years ago, one boy actually... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wonderful. Um, anyways, it is fully embedded into the page, of course. Other members can come on and, and quote your post by um, clicking the quote button. And, and they can say, haha, that's great. And of course, their um, you know their quote will include a copy of the the YouTube tag. All right, before we move on, I want to tell you about one more thing about custom com code tags, and that is the power of parameters. Using parameters, we can allow it so that our members, whenever they use the YouTube tag, can customize anything. They can customize the height and the width. They could change the color of this, and you do this through parameters. So let me take you back to the admin zone real quick, and I'll show you how to use these. It's under setup, custom com code, edit a tag, and grab our YouTube tag here. All right, the basic idea is that if we want to allow people to change any more of this YouTube HTML, we can do that with these parameters here. So, for instance, notice how the object width and height are both hard coded in here. So every time somebody uses the YouTube tag, it will always have a width of 425 and a height of 334. Well, we can change that. Let's start with just one, the width. To make it so that people can customize the width, come on down to Parameters. Type the name of your parameter. We'll call this one Width. Makes a lot of sense. And you need to choose a default value. And this is the value that will be used if no one decides to change it. In this case, 425 is a pretty good standard size. So let's say Width equals 425 in the parameters field. Now come up here to where that 425 is hard-coded. Delete the number 425 and instead do another symbol. It's curly brace width. Close curly brace. Now this is a parameter. So if someone chooses a width of say 300 or 600 or 20 for anything they like, that number will be put in here. So essentially they can control it, which is great. So to set more than one parameter, just add a comma. So we have width equals 425, comma. I'm going to say height equals 334 because that's a good standard height. Now just like before, I'm going to come up to where the height is hard-coded, delete the hard-coded number, and do an curly brace height instead. And this way when people choose a height, that number will be put in here instead. So that's the basic idea. In this particular YouTube HTML, Everything is used twice, and I'm going to just scroll on down here. If you look, the width is also set here and here. And this is just the nature of YouTube's code. So, just do it exactly the same way we did before. Take the width equals 425 and replace the number with a symbol, which is curly brace, width, close curly brace. Same for the height. Get rid of the 334 and instead do curly brace height close curly brace. And that's the idea. One thing that we ought to change now is down at the bottom our example. And if you recall this is to show the people using your website how to use the tag. So let's tell them now that they can change the width by showing by example. Width equals, I don't know, 640. Height equals 480. This way, anyone reading the documentation will see, oh, look, cool, there's this YouTube tag that I can change the width or the height or um, put my video ID in the center. So there is our example code. And let's just save it off. And we'll take a look at it in action. Back over at the forums, I'm going to jump to my funny video topic here. And just to save time, I'll go to this top one here and just edit it. So here's our same com code tag right here. What I'll do now to control the height is after the word YouTube, but before the close bracket, I'm going to do space width equals, let's go huge, 800, double quote. And we'll also say height 
equals 600. So this will be a pretty big one. Let me show you a smaller one too. I'm just going to highlight this line and just copy it. Control C. Come on down and Control V to paste it. And I'll show you the, the width. We'll make this 160 by 120. And I'll leave the same video code in the center. So it'll play the same video, but this one will be very big, this top one. And this bottom one will be much smaller. So come on down, save your changes, and check it out. Here is our enormous YouTube video. Let's watch it. Another dangerous game kids play is to tunnel in snowbanks near the road. So, a few years ago, one boy... Yeah, that's right. Full theater. So, um, I don't recommend making your videos exorbitantly big. Um, but anyways, you can do as you like. And of course, the smaller one will play just the same. Dangerous game kids play is we can even do both at once if we like. So, anyways, you can have a lot of fun with the YouTube tag. And, of course, anywhere on your website that supports com code can use any of these com code tags. So if you'd like to litter YouTube videos all across your pages or in your frequently asked questions or your downloads or in any field in the whole website that supports com code, which is most of them, you can use these custom com code tags. So, there's a lot of possibilities for these tags. I hope that you find some creative ways to utilize them for your website and you find them a, a good time saver because they're pretty powerful little tools. Well, until next time, this is Alan Ellis with OC Portal. Thanks for watching.